So, I was just wondering, what happens when a Mercedes crashes? Does that mean Mercedes... Benz? Gotcha. Now, let's get to the business of the day. Number one, the Porsche 911. How exactly was this car named? Well, here's my theory. I think the Porsche board was at a meeting in search of a name when the coffee jug suddenly goes missing, then one of them goes, Call 911! But it was mistakenly taken as a name suggestion. I don't know. And I guess we'll never know. Number two, the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing. Now, let's talk about this iconic Mercedes-Benz sports car. First produced in 1954, this amazing automobile is a defining retro innovation at its best. Offering the first ever production fuel injection engine and capable of achieving a faster top speed than any other car produced during its time, the 300 SL Gullwing caused quite a stir when it was first introduced at the 1954 New York Auto Show. With its distinctive doors, it's now considered one of the most collectible Mercedes-Benz models ever. The chances of you seeing one of these classics being driven around are pretty slim, but you might find one in a Mercedes museum or as part of a collection of a Mercedes-Benz loyalist. Number three, the BMW 1 Series. I love the BMW 1 Series for a lot of reasons. First, it's more affordable than any other BMW, and honestly, I love that about it. Also, this rear-wheel drive executive car still features a luxurious interior as well as a premium driving performance. It also has the high-spec finish that the brand has become famous for. Now, what did the German cowboy say to his partner on the other side of the road? Audi. Oh! Well, that's our number four, the Audi R8. Launched in 2006, this sports car is a brawn and beauty of Audi. It was perfectly constructed with poise and efficiency. The design and build of this incredibly stylish two-seater are based on the most successful Le Mans racing car of all time. Available as a coupe or an open-top Spider, the Audi R8 is a true supercar that offers blistering performance, sharp handling, and a distinctive angular look. Number five, the Mercedes-Benz C-Class. Did you know that the Mercedes-Benz C-Class was named the Compact Executive Car of the Year in the 2018 Auto Express New Car Awards? Yeah, it's that good. The Mercedes-Benz C-Class offers a winning combination of sector-leading comfort, great equipment, and affordable running costs. More than 15 years after its launch, it remains one of the leading lights of its class. And for a car that was launched in the early 1990s, this car remains evergreen. And if you watch the video to this point, then you should check out ExpressVPN. If you use Netflix, then ExpressVPN would be a plus for you. Get access to hundreds of more movies and TV shows with ExpressVPN. The link is in the description. And while you're at it, kindly smash the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more fun videos like this. Number six, the Porsche 356. For several decades now, the Porsche brand has set itself as one of the leading German automobile manufacturing brands. They produced the Porsche 356 in 1950, and to be very honest, I feel it still looks pretty cool. A truly classic vehicle, the 356 was Porsche's first production automobile, and just 50 cars were created during the first run. The tiny but powerful two-seater went on to sell 76,313 units and is now a collector's favorite that will usually fetch somewhere between $20,000 and $100,000 at an auction. Number 7. The Audi A3. Right now, we're all about the classics. Produced in 1996, this subcompact executive car offers a flexible, stylish package to all lovers of a traditional automobile. Audi sold over half a million A3s in the UK alone. This premium hatch is fuel efficient and classy feeling, and buyers can choose from a huge range of engines to suit their needs. From the free-to-tax plug-in hybrid e-tron through to the 2.5-liter 5-cylinder RS3. Number eight, the Volkswagen Golf. I have so many memories with this car. Not fun memories, though. I got hit by a VW Golf back in high school. Ended up unconscious for a couple of hours, but I'm fine now. Obviously. Anyways, this 1974 VW vehicle might not be the most exciting car on our list, but we could not leave it out given the fact that VW Golf is Europe's best-selling car and the second best-selling model in the world overall. A multi-award winner vehicle, the hatchback is practical, refined, and enduringly popular. What car does a frog love most? The Beetle. Oh, and I forgot to say, the frog just got his car towed. See what I did there? Number nine, the Volkswagen Beetle. 
created by one of the oldest car manufacturing companies still in business, Volkswagen, the Beetle vehicle is no doubt the flagship vehicle for the simplicity and elegance of the German automobile industry. With the first Beetle produced in 1938, Volkswagen didn't stop manufacturing the Beetle model until 2003. Now, here's what you didn't know about the Beetle vehicle. You ready for this? Here we go. Did you know that the concept for making of the Volkswagen Beetle was originally gotten from Adolf Hitler? It was said that he wanted a cheap, simple car to be mass produced for his country's new road network. And well, it turned out to be a pretty good car. Number 10, the BMW 328. This vehicle is a pre-war rarity. After the Second World War, the manufacturing plant in Eisenach, where the 328 had been built, found itself in the Soviet occupation zone, which meant production had to cease. But this legendary car has not been forgotten. Only 464 units were produced, making it one of the most scarce BMW vehicles. Perhaps it's the sheer scarcity that has cemented its infamy. Number 11, the Mercedes E-Class. Looking at this car and all I could think of are cops. Number 12, the 2010 Audi S4. When Audi launched a redesigned S4 in 2010, no one expected it to come with a supercharged 3 liter V6 under the hood. Although it was down 7 horsepower from the previous year's model, the S4 still brought 333 horsepower and a supercharged V6 to the luxury segment. The S4 interior set the bar for the competition. But I think the real standout feature of this vehicle was the fact that Audi recognized that reduced emissions and better mileage were setting the direction for the decade to come. Number 13, the 2011 Porsche Cayenne. You would have hated it when it came out of Stuttgart back in 2003. Porsche knew that it had to save itself and its financial future with something that didn't have 911 in its title. In spite of its initial resentment, the Cayenne later won over naysayers and saved Porsche's future by crashing through tradition and reinventing everyone's idea of how an SUV was supposed to act. Turns out, it worked pretty well for them. Number 14. The 2012 Volkswagen Passat. VW finally got a hang of the concept of a real-time family sedan vehicle. This was the car that gave every mom and dad from Carolina to California a reason to drive their family of five to the mall in an entry-level European sedan. Number 16. The 2003 Mercedes-Benz GL Class. We can all agree on one thing. This was a big, bad Benz that redefined the large luxury SUV for the masses. Number 17, the 2015 Volkswagen Golf GTI. Just when drivers begin to think Wolfsburg's designers and engineers can't reinvent the wheel, Volkswagen leveled up. The 2015 GTI was named the North American Car of the Year, won Auto Week's Best of the Best trophy, and took home Motor Trend's Car of the Year. Number 18, the 2015 BMW M235i. This car was not built for the family. In fact, it was unlikely that anyone could squeeze the kids in the back, but that didn't prevent people from comparing it to the E46 M3 of the early 2000s. Number 19, the 2018 Audi RS3. An absolute beauty. Fresh, fast, and furious. The true definition of a sexy Audi. Number 20, the 2011 BMW M3 E90. This showed up at the Frankfurt Auto Show in 1985, and the rest is history. With its design, BMW built a series of the most perfectly built yet slightly anonymous sports cars ever to tear up the track. Number 21, the 2016 Mercedes AMG GT. Hey, so when are we getting to the good stuff? Pfft. Check out this bad boy. Apart from the stunning design and a V8 engine that sounds exactly like you hoped it would, the AMG team at Mercedes built a 585 horsepower monster capable of getting to 100 kilometers an hour in only 3.6 seconds. Now that's a car. Number 22, the 2019 BMW M2 Competition. Okay, at this point I gotta ask, why in the hell would you name a car Competition? Sometimes I think I have a better car naming skill than most of these guys. Number 23. 
3, the 2019 Audi e-tron. Say hello to the first electric Audi vehicle. The e-tron is also the first battery electric car to be named a top safety pick by the IIHS. The design uses a battery weight to help it stay planted and there's an electric motor on each axle with a total of 402 horsepower and a 700 kilogram, 95 kilowatt hour battery pack. Not bad. Not bad at all. Number 24, the 2020 Volkswagen e-Golf. Volkswagen has already sold more than three times as many e-Golfs during the first three months of 2020 as they did a year ago. That's a good sign for a car company that's staking its future on making reasonably priced, environmentally friendly cars for millions of drivers around the world. By the way, they forecast their electric car production to reach 1 million cars by 2023. Very impressive, considering where they started as a company. Number 25, the 2020 Porsche 911 992 Series. 911 again? I know, right? But hear me out on this one. This is super cool. The latest generation of 911, the 992 Series, has grown wider and stronger with new technologies that place the car firmly in 2020 and position the legend to continue for decades to come. Perhaps more than any other sports car, this 992 series succeeds in fulfilling the promise of delivering one of the purest automotive experiences available to drivers. Number 26, the 2018 BMW i8 Roadster. This car is a big, bad wolf, and I mean it. While its 231 horsepower gas engine powered the rear wheels and a 143 electric horsepower engine drove the front, the i8 featured a body of aluminum and composite fibers that resulted in virtually no drag. The Roadster also weighs less than 1,600 pounds and raced to 60 miles an hour in a little over 4 seconds. Number 27. The 2020 Porsche Taycan Turbo S. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you the Taycan German Car of the Year of 2000. And 20. All four wheels of this vehicle are powered by two electric motors, which allows the Taycan Turbo S to produce 750 horsepower and a 0 to 60 time of 2.4 seconds. Do I need to say more? Number 28, the 2021 Audi Q5. Now, let's talk about some future cars. The Audi Q5 is one of the most popular premium compact SUVs on the market thanks to a sporty driving demeanor, elegant styling, and useful standard technology. It balances sporty driving performance with a quiet ride and modern interior. It features advanced infotainment and driver safety tech, and buyers can opt for a plug-in hybrid version capable of running solely on electricity. Cool, right? Number 29, the 2020 Volkswagen Jetta. This is probably one of the most affordable German cars to come stateside. Volkswagen placed a focus on engineering, giving the Jetta a comfortable ride and spacious cabin that's not glitzy. Way to go, Volks. Number 30, the 2020 Volkswagen Passat. This car features elegant styling, state-of-the-art technology, as well as the standard driver safety system. What more do you want? Number 31, the 2020 Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport. This car comes with a 3.6 liter V6 engine and an all-wheel drive system. It is also estimated to deliver 16 miles per gallon in the city and 22 miles per gallon on the highway. Number 32, the 2021 Volkswagen Atlas. Yeah, another Atlas, I know. But this one is a comfortable and all-purpose family vehicle. An all-around seven-seater vehicle that comes in 13 trim levels. Number 33, the 2020 Audi SQ7. Take it from me, this is not your regular Audi SUV. This one comes with a 500 horsepower V8 engine that allows the 2.6 ton SUV to accelerate faster than many sports cars. Number 34, the Volkswagen Synchro W12. Those that attended the 1997 Tokyo Motor Show must have been stunned when Volkswagen pulled a rabbit out of the hat. Only that this time it wasn't a rabbit, but a bright yellow W12 Synchro with a 5.6 liter W12 engine producing 309 kilowatts. Yep, it was the VW's first sports car concept. Number 35, the 2020 Audi SQ5. Shoppers used to luxury vehicles will feel right at home inside this vehicle. It is super comfortable and its available driver safety tech will provide that extra peace of mind that you need to get by. Number 36. The 2020 Volkswagen Ardeon. 
I like what VW is doing with their sedan. Check out this vehicle. The Arteon comes with a powerful turbocharged engine, and it also features a limited slip differential and has available all-wheel drive to help provide traction in uncertain situations. Number 37, the 2020 Audi A6 All-Road. What's cool about this car? Hmm, well, let's see. It is designed with all-road and all-weather abilities, making it great for some unfavorable driving conditions. Its plush interior and generous cargo space are extra features and make this vehicle a keeper. Number 38, the 2020 BMW X6M. This vehicle is a high-performance SUV with lush coupe styling and a 4.4-liter V8 turbo engine and all-wheel drive. This X6M is estimated to deliver 13 miles per gallon in the city and 18 miles per gallon on the highway. That's amazing. Number 39, the 2012 Mercedes Maybach 62S. Maybach used to be a standalone automobile company until it was added to the Mercedes family. This luxury piece of art is commonly found amidst big spending celebrities and public figures, a real show of class and luxe. And number 40, the Porsche 919 Evo Hybrid. This car has an insane acceleration speed of 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.6 seconds, and the 0 to 120 miles per hour time, 7.8 seconds, and the quarter mile time, 10.3 seconds, and a top speed of 211 miles an hour with 690 horsepower. Oh, geez, that's fast. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more fun videos like this. Till next time, stay wheelie.